My name is Teresa Kovlak, and today we are going to finish off this painting. If you didn't see how I painted this, look at my previous video, and it shows you how I was able to make the sky and the flowers. So let's go ahead and get started here. This is all done in alcohol ink. I explained that on the video before this. So now what we're going to do is add in some accent colors. I will post these on my description below and what we're going to do is just take and dot on some colors. One of my subscribers, her name is Victoria, she had seen something that she wanted to learn how to paint and I told her I would give it my best try. So I hope you're enjoying this Victoria. And if anybody else is out there who would like to see something painted or on how to do something, let me know if it's in my, um, in my skill level. I'll go ahead and do it for you. So I'm just using a few different inks and paints and I'll leave down below. What works really nice is the, um, these are given like a 3D look and I like them. I hope you do too. So they do come, sorry, got to adjust my chair there. They do come in a wide variety of color. Sometimes you'll want to take and just tap it on your paper towel if you haven't used them in a bit or if they're brand new for you. Now my inks are dry, but when I put down this paint, I have to watch that I don't smudge it. And again, I'm just adding in a little bit of detailing, a little bit of colors. Like I said, if you haven't used your paints in a while, just use it on the paper towel first. And sometimes it's actually just a good way to practice making the dots. And just a variety of colors and mix and matching. If you get a smudge that you don't like, too much comes out, take a Q-tip, wipe it off, and then just keep going on. And I'm just kind of staying on the same colors same color sequence, maybe a little brighter here or there. And it just helps, helps it pop, gives that 3D look and makes it a little fun. So believe it or not, I made a video before this one and it accidentally got erased, but you will be able to see the photo on Instagram. And under Instagram or Facebook, you can find me under Teresa Kovlek. And I will leave the name of the brand and the makers of these in the description box. But like I said, they're just lots of fun. I don't really do the whole flower. I'm just adding here and there.
just so it has a little accent. And again, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. Just do what makes you happy. And you can see there's no yellow in there, but I like this yellow. So I'm just adding a little bit in. Giving it a little color. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I will get to them. Sometimes you guys shake the paint down. So I just want to bring these stems over. And I'm just putting a small squeeze in. I'm not squeezing real hard at all. And this definitely gives a nice 3D effect. I think we'll go ahead and maybe do some more videos with this. Doesn't have to be perfect, just lightly squeeze on. Just add in just a little bit. Now you are going to want to let this dry somewhere where it's not going to be disturbed. We'll put some down here in the grass also. This is a lot of fun. I hope you like I, I hope you like seeing this because it is a lot of fun. I think you'll enjoy doing it. And we'll just finish up here with a like a tiny bit of it's funny I'd like a different blue but this is the blue we have so we're just gonna use it it actually looks good so happy to have it So again, I'm not doing the whole flower. If you want to do the whole flower, that's totally up to you. I find doing just bits and pieces is better. That way it's not taking away from it. And um, I think if you give it a try, you'll like this. Victoria, I hope you like it. And I Definitely hope it's what you were describing. So there we go.
So just to give you a little closer look, let me see if I can bring this up to you. And again, you'll want to make sure that you watch the video before this one, just because it shows you on how I painted the sky and the ink part in of the flowers. On this here, I'm doing the accent colors with a 3D paint. I will list that below. And I hope you enjoyed it. Again, my name is Teresa Koblek, and happy painting.